Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hometown Scoreboard Update, courtesy of our friends from Strack Van Til. I'm Jack Thiel. Alongside me will be Mike Jamia. Mike, we're getting scores kind of finalized here. We do still have some scores going on, but we'll update you on some finals. And a lot of our RSN game day built by Von Tobel games are going final. The first one, obviously, I think is the biggest one. Crown Point, another huge win for them, 49-7. to A lot of big plays. You know, from a lot of great players, but overall, another dominating win for the Bulldogs. Yeah, I mean, it starts with the defense and special teams. Uh, that three-five-three defense that they run is just very hard for other t opposing teams to, you know, to scheme blocking against yeah. that. You know, that they can play in multiple fronts. And uh, Coach Bazia just, you know, had it dialed in today and had all of his guys executing in that one. Um, and then we saw some big plays, Lane and Delich with a fifty-eight yard mm -hmm. touchdown. Uh, and they just, you know, they put it on them quick, and they kept going, and, you know, that's they, they rolled in this one. So, yeah, shouts out to Crown Point for getting done. We do have our award winners from that game. First, your crowd company's insurance, superhero of the game, Noah Ellerch. Four touchdown passes. Again, he is just having the start of a season that could be special for him. I mean, two great games back-to-back. -back. Your blue-collar player of the game, Seamus Matup. Malusic, I should say. He had a block punt, a block pass, a tackle for loss, a touchdown reception as well. So doing it all on the field. And then your proud union play of the game came in the first quarter. It was a 58-yard pass from Noah Ellert to Landon Delich, like you just mentioned. So those are your award winners for the Chicago Taft and Crown Point game. Another one that hasn't gone final yet, but it is one of our you know game days built by Von Tobel. The Maryville Pirates, they are steamrolling right now, 31-6, to six, you know, protecting home field. And it seems like for Maryville, everything is going right for them. Yeah, and we mentioned it in the pregame about how tough it is to win on the road at Maryville. And, you know, I mean, it, it's proven itself to be the yeah. case, right? And we talked about how this game will be won in the trenches. Maryville, you know, we... We know Maryville is a team that's very athletic, that likes to get their ball, get, get the ball to playmakers mm -hmm. in space. Well, even when they line up in that spread, they can power run out of that and, and hit the A-gap and run inside, and that's exactly what they did. We talked about how this game would be won in the trenches, and Maryville just on both sides of the ball, on the offense and defensive line, got it done, and they got, it all started there, and as we can see, it's finishing in Maryville's favor. And, of course, our last one was... And Drain and Velpo. Last time we checked, Velpo, I believe, was winning by over 35 points. They seem to be on their way to a victory. And, of course, we talked about in the Host Connections halftime report that Velpo, look, they're a team that's going to play great football. Don't like week one. Like, fool you. This is a team that's going to be there. This is a team that's going to win a lot of games. So it's good to see them come back. And we'll let you know some of our final scores that have gone in the region here. First, the Lowell Red Devils get their first win of the year, 26-7. to River Forest, who was an honorable mention in our RSN Top 10, they defeat Calumet 33 to nothing. And as we mentioned, the Crown Point Bulldogs were victors in their game. And then we go to... Lake Central, they lose 28-21. to 21. Dave Melton on the move at Twitter on that one. And he was able to tweet out about eight minutes ago, Lake Central was at the Providence Catholic five-yard line and a turnover on downs for them. Then Providence Catholic responded with a huge 40-yard pass and just ran, ran the clock out. And Lake Central will not start 2-0. They'll go 1-1 one and, one and face Portage next week. Boone Grove Wolves, they defeat South Bend Clay. 53 to 6. We kind of talk about this the the weird Warsaw win for them. A 40-yard field goal with 25 seconds to go. They went 8 to 6. Like I said, this is football, not baseball, but for them, they go 2 and 0. And as we keep going, last time we checked for Northwood, I believe it was 49 to 7 still in that third quarter. Rensselaer Central, they went 53 to nothing against North Newton. And those are about all the final scores we have for you right now. Some games are at the very end of the third quarter or just, you know, in that fourth quarter. So we are getting those scores, and as we go, a good job by our man Skibbs, who's getting those. And Northwood has won. They defeat Portage. 49-7. So 49-7. Mike, I mean, you said it. If they could hold on to 60, that's a good job yeah. well done. I mean, you wanted a couple touchdowns. Yeah. Can't be greedy. Did ask for a couple <laughs> touchdowns and to hold them under 60. They held them under 60. They held them under 50. And so, uh, but, yeah. You know, didn't score. You know, the couple touchdowns, like we we're saying, but, but yeah, but we but we talk about. I mean, and we you know we kind of say that a little tongue in cheek, but then also very serious at the same time. Yeah. But what is very serious is the idea, though, that you learn more from losses than you do wins. Mm -hmm. Honestly, 
right? It's it's just one of those things where you go hit the drawing board, see the things that you could execute better. And it, look, I mean, Northwood's a really good football yeah, team. Absolutely. I mean, it, and it's going to be one of those things where you're going to learn a lot when you play a team like that. Mm-hmm. It's just having that perspective that you're going to learn and move forward. And so hopefully that's what the Portage Indians do moving into week three as they host uh, or I think they're hosting, yep. right? No, they're going to. Lake they're Central. going to Lake yep. Central. Indians uh, versus Indians. Yep. So and that's that's a game where. You know that's going to be an important game for Lake Central coming yeah. off of this n- another close loss here, yeah. uh, and that's going to be a game too where I think coaching is going to really make the difference mm-hmm. in that one. So Roy Richards, uh, you know, and Coach Good, that's going to be a good game. Yeah, second year in a row where Lake Central another sour taste after a Providence Catholic game. We'll see how they respond there. Keep your eye on that hometown scoreboard, which is courtesy of our friends from Strackman, until they have all the scores up to date. We're not going to be done yet. We're going to be back in a little bit for our wrap-up show here in our beautiful Centier Bank Studios on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town.